This is the device I use to transfer my 8mm and Super 8mm sound films. I bought it from a company called Transfer Lab in France and it's around 800 euros. That's without the camera because I wanted to use my own Canon camera. You can buy it with a camera too. As I said I bought this unit without the camera, you can buy the whole unit altogether including the camera. I'm using a Canon Fixia HF200 HD camera. The camera focuses directly on the film frame in the gate so when it's transferred it's upside down and reversed. You correct this when you do the edit. They supply this special lens to enable you to focus directly on the tiny film frame. This means there's no mirrors or anything else to distort the image. You can adjust the camera position this way using these screws. One adjusts it and the other one locks it in position. Again these screws can move it horizontally one to move it and one to lock it in position. These nuts and bolts move the whole platform up and down. It takes a while to get it right but uh, persevere for wonderful results. Let's have a look inside here. This is the replacement LED lamp that's installed. As I said there's a brightness control at the top there. I always use it at full brightness. To change the projector from Super 8 to Standard 8 you simply remove these sprocket rods, one here and one here. It's a pliable adapter to change from standard 8 to super 8 on the spindle here. And then also there's a nut. You don't need to change the gate when switching from standard 8 to super 8. That stays the same. They have drilled out the aperture at the back here which gives you a much greater area. You get something like 25% more picture area than you would with a standard projector. You also see a portion of the sprocket hole which can be cropped out in the edit. They adjust the projection speed to get rid of any strobing on your video camera. But with my camera there was still a slight strobe. So I removed the silicon paste that they'd put on there to seal it I just had to adjust it down just a tiny bit. Just a standard control knob, one click to run the motor and then normally the next click would uh, light the lamp but in this case because the LED lamp is on all the time there's no need for that function. Reverse the film and rewind. Sound volume. Start the projector. Press this in. Feed the film in. Hold that until the film comes out to the rear wheel. As I said, because the camera focuses directly on the frame in the gate, the image is upside down and reversed. As with normal projection, the lens would correct this. I have to correct this in the edit, which is very easy to do. Some people like to see the uh, sprocket hole in the frame, but I crop it out. I set the camera focus to manual and I set the iris to manual then I can open and close the iris when required when transferring the film. That will open it up and then you can close it down. As you can see it's very good quality with a sharp image. I record onto an SD card I also plug the HDMI cable into a large mining circuit while transferring so it's easier to see. Many professional film companies and TV companies that have bought footage from me that they have viewed on my YouTube channel 
always comment on the colour and the clarity of the pictures. This unit is very good value for money and you can upgrade the camera whenever you want.